Welcome to this video where I take USGS time series flow data and I copy it over into Excel and then import it into the database program developed by the Hydrologic Engineering Center, which is called HEC uh, DSS View. And that, that's the database program that's used for a lot of the HEC programs such as RAS um, and HMS and RESSIM among others. So the time series data that I'm going to use is the South Fork Flathead River above Twin Creek near Hungry Horse, Montana. And I'm going to do this for the 1997 uh, data. So I have a begin date of January 1st, 97, and an end date of December 31st, 1997. And I'm using tab separated data. So here's the data that we have, and if you click right on the first row, I don't see a cursor up here, but if you click right there and then scroll down, shift, and click again, then you can copy the data and then put it into a spreadsheet. Now, when you copy it that way, it, it uh, is all in one column, and they'll have multiple rows. And so what I do is I do data, then text to columns to then break it apart. Um, in the interest of time, I'm not going to go through every Excel, um, every step in Excel, uh, but I have cleaned up the data, so I have kept the columns of date, time, and flow. Now, I know when I put the data into DSS View that it wants the date and time together, or at least I find it works best if you have the date and time together. So I do a formula where I take the date from column A and then the time from column B, and then I put it all into one cell. And this is the formula that I use. And then I also make sure that I put a space in between the two of them. And then I just copy it down for all of the rows. Now, uh, as you look at the data, you can see that it appears that it is 15 minute data. So you might be tempted to import this into DSS view as 15 minute data. But one thing I do recommend is that you do a check before you do that to make sure that you don't have missing data or make sure that the time step hasn't changed. So if I scroll down in this data set and I go to April 6, you'll notice that early in the morning on April 6 that we have a difference here. This uh, my check column is telling me that this time step should be at 2 a.m., but I'm seeing that it's actually 3 a.m. in the actual data set. And you can easily see that the reason for this is that you're actually missing about an hour's worth of data. So when I go to put this into DSS view, I want to put it in as an irregular time series because if I put it in as 15 minute data, assuming that it is 15 minute data, it's going to see this value of 987 as being at 2 o'clock in the morning um, when in reality it's at 3 o'clock in the morning. And then once it's in the database then you can do some manipulation on the time and that's one of the strengths of putting this data into a database. You can fix this in Excel but I find it's actually much quicker to fix it in DSS and I'll be showing that in, in a subsequent video. So in order to get this data into DSS, I'm going to open up a DSS file. And I already have some paths in here because I've been playing around with the data to make sure that that it, this uh, uh, th these operations work. But in order to do this from scratch, I would do, oh, and by the way, um, I had made a separate Excel file to where I put in just the data that I want to import. So I put the date time column and the flow column. The other thing I did is I made it a .xls file. Um, I have found with the import that if you do a .xlsx or a .xlsm, um, at least I've been having some problems getting DSS to recognize that. So it seems to want a .xls, so save it as a .xls. So here if I go to data entry and then import Excel, And then you can see that I have the .xls files. We're going to do the 1997. And then I'm going to open that. And it, it gives me my data. And it gives me the headings, date, time, and flow. I also use headings in the, the spreadsheet. But when I go to import, I don't select those headings. I just select the data. 
So if I select all the data and then hit Import, then it will open up the data entry. And then I can tell it, um, I'll just give it some quick names here. So how about 1997 YouTube. And then this is flow. And remember, you, you might be tempted to do 15 minute data, but it's not truly 15 minute data. So do IR day. And then you can say that it's from USGS. Uh, appears that my start date and start time are correct. I want to put my units in here, which in this case it is CFS. Once I'm done with that, I can hit save. I don't need to return to the data entry screen and I can close the table. And then you can see that this is the time series data that I have imported. And I just want to go in and check the, the value for April 6th. just to make sure that it actually did import correctly. So you can see that, remember we had a value for 145 and a value for 3 a.m. And so it actually does import that correctly and it imported it as an irregular time series. Um, so hopefully this was helpful for you to understand how to get data from USGS and then you can put it into Excel, do a little bit of manipulation and then put it into DSS view. In the next video I'll show how to convert this into being true 15 minute data um, and also show how to do a, a daily average computation from this data. Uh, so feel free to subscribe to the channel if you want to know when more of these videos come out and thanks for watching this one.